Hey guys, my name is Freedom. Today I'm going to show you how to change the color of the 3D avatar of the actor core who already put in iClone 7.9. So start from now, I'm going to show you step by step. First, you open the iClone 7 and now I'm going to start a new project and I will just give you a demo start from the beginning. This is under my item, I filter here to show that only in store and also here I'm going to filter it out to sort by sort by the install date, the reason first and you can see all of this actor core avatar that I already put in into the icon 7. So as demo I will just use this once and I already drag in into my icon 7 and I wait for a while until it finished loading. And now, in order to show the color ID, first I have to click here. And always remember, by default, once you click, click the UV here, the material, it will show you all of this. And you can see the material texture is only one that is the base color and the rest are related opacity and the bump but here I, I just want to show that you can see here you have a resource map that is the color ID and also the RGB mask so now we have to go to the substance and you can see the substance it not yet it not yet create any setting about the substance so what we need to do is just click here and then if the folder is under the material library you have to double click the material modifier you should be able to see the modi the material modifier dot i substance this is the icon substance file just double click it to make sure it, it loaded you can see now you have all of this like rgb mass and the color id mass can just take both of it and now you can you can tweak it you have the rgb mess and you have the color id mess as well so if you take it here you can show to check the rgb mess that means the hair color is, is the green color that is the hair and then what else the skin is the red color Right. If you tweak the color ID mask, you even have more. Let's say now, this is the cyan, that is the head. So I want to change the color of the head. I have to, to go to the cyan. And then I can change the hue. Change the hue of the, of the head. The hue is at here. Of course, I can change the luminosity as well. It is up to you create any changes all right once done ready click minus to make it back so now I can have a check now the shirt's color is the blue color so blue I can adjust the hue of the blue color then I can I can just adjust the all this color the luminosity I can adjust it as well the contrast the hue and change the color right what else if, if I minus the blue I check again the color ID mask the yellow part is the shoes color so now change the shoes color is under yellow I may just adjust the hue or adjust the contrast just anything the roughness you also can adjust it. It is up to you, the metallic, because the color ID already separates the, the whole avatar into a few zones. So all the materials, all the diffuse color map, it all the diffuse map, etc. It will automatically separate by using the color ID mask. The RGB mask also the same. You can change. For example, the hair color is the green. I check the green, I change the hair color, change the hue of the hair color. You can
can see the changes here. The luminosity is it's up to me to change the contrast. This is really awesome to change any of the color just by using the color ID and the RGB mask. The color ID mask. All right. Then after that, you can just save it. Save as a new avatar. Go to the content. Go to here. Go to the custom. Under the avatar, you can just save it. It will appear as a new avatar now. All right. Next time, you can use it again and again. All right. So all of these avatars are from ActorCore. It have a resource map. The resource map is here. Of course, you can change it. The RGB mask and color ID. You can just export it out, save it, export it out, and change the color ID by using your Photoshop or any of the image editing software. All right, that's all for today about how to change the color of the actor core avatar in Icon 7.9. You can change unlimited color and material variations. For this tutorial, I only show you how to change the color. That's all for today. Thank you for watching. If you love my video tutorial, if you feel all this tutorial are very helpful to your 3D animation and game developing, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel and also turn on the mini bell and select all so that when next time I publish a new video tutorial, you receive the notification immediately. See you in my next video. Enjoy, happy animation and game developing. See you.